See who was killed when we hear of the issue of Karbala. When my poster came out last week, when you saw it and you saw the word Karbala, who comes to your head? Come on, guys. Hazrat Hussein radiallahu ta'ala. Hazrat Hussein comes to our mind. The Hazrat Hussein radiallahu ta'ala, he was killed. Hazrat Hussein was killed. Hazrat Hussein was killed. Have you ever asked yourself that there was over 72 people there? Who were the other people? Who were the other people? How come their names are as famous and as popular in this issue as Hazrat Hussein radiallahu ta'ala? They were brutally martyred. They were martyred with the same swords and the same arrows. They were martyred on the same field. They were kept just as thirsty. They were surrounded. If there was a crime, then their crime was the same. There wasn't a crime. I'm saying if there was a crime, their crime was the same. Why is it nobody knows about them? Who were they? I'm going to tell you. Number one, they were also the sons of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala. If Hazrat Hussein radiallahu ta'ala is the son of Hazrat Ali and he was murdered and therefore we should be our chest and we should whip our backs because he was Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala and sons, then what about the other five, six sons of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala and what about those? Why not mourn and groan about those? Shall I tell you why? Let me tell you their names. Number one, one of them's name was Abu Bakr. One of them's name was Abu Bakr ibn Ali, Abu Bakr, the son of Ali. Guess what? Guess what the other one's name was? Umar, the son of Ali. Umar, the son of Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Guess, who the, guess what the third one's name was? His name was Uthman, the son of Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. This is why they're hidden. Because the reality is going to come out. The hold on. Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu had a son called Abu Bakr. He had a son called Umar. He had a son called Uthman. He had a son called Jafar Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu ajma'in. But why is Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu keeping these names if supposedly these Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman were the ones that uh, oppressed him? If they're the ones that burnt his wife's house, if they're the ones that took the khilaf on the leadership of him, if they're the ones that pushed him to a side after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, why is he keeping those names for him? You know who else was there? Let me tell you who else was there. Who else was killed? Hazrat Umm Kulthum radiyallahu ta'ala anha. Umm Kulthum binti Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anha. Who was she? If that name comes out that she was murdered, she was there also, sorry, she was there, not murdered. I think she was one of the survivors. Then the question is going to be asked, who is Umm Kulthum, the daughter of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala Umm Kulthum radiallahu ta'ala anha is that young girl who was married to Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. She was Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that daughter who was married to Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. That makes Hazrat Ali, what to Hazrat Umar? Come on guys. Father-in-law. Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu is the father-in-law. Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu is the son-in-law. People are going to ask, aren't they? Ke yaar, if Hazrat Umar oppressed Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anhu, if Hazrat Umar oppressed Hazrat Ali, if Hazrat Umar beat up Hassan and Hussein, then why is Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu giving his beloved daughter to Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu in marriage? One Arab scholar, he came across a Shia. So sometimes, you know, to explain to somebody who's got a bit of a brain, it's okay. Sometimes you have to explain in different, different ways. So this Shia scholar, he said to this Arab scholar, he said to him that why we don't believe in Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu is because Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he burnt the house of Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. And he pushed the door and the door had a big nail inside it and that nail went through her and caused a miscarriage. She became shaheed and the baby that she was carrying, even that became shaheed. 
So this scholar, he thought, how do I explain to this Ulu Kapatha, the Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala who was in the house, which man would tolerate such a thing? So how did he reply to him? He said to him, yeah. He said, you know who told him to do it? He said, who? He said, Hazrat Ali told him to do it. He said, Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala who told him to go there and burn down the house and to break the door. That guy goes, what's your proof? He said, my proof is the after Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha passed away, Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu had a daughter called Ummi Kulthum radiallahu ta'ala anha and he gave her in marriage to Hazrat Umar as a reward for what he did to Hazrat Fatima. You don't get it? He said, now tell me. He said, Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he had it all planned. <laughs> he had it all planned. He wanted Fatima to go. He wanted to get rid of Fatima. So he said, why did he want to get rid of Fatima? Now in Shia books, what it says is Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, even in our, in our books, Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu wanted to get married to another woman, Abu Jahl's daughter. So he said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, I want to get married to Abu Jahl's daughter. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, that Ali, you can't. You can't have the daughter of the enemy of Allah and the Prophet of Allah in one house. Even though she was a Muslim. She was a mu'min she had embraced. So he said, so he's, he's just making a story up and just showing him up. He said to him, because of that, Hazrat Ali was angry. Because of that, Hazrat Ali was angry. So he wanted to get one over Fatima. So he told Umar, you go break down the house, go burn the door, get rid of her. And as a reward, I'll give you my daughter, Ummi Kulthum, radiallahu ta'ala anha. And that's exactly what happened. And then what happened? From the marriage, somebody called Zaid ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala who was born. Now, if all those names come out, people are going to ask that all these little stories that you're always telling us about, that Umar went and did this, Abu Bakr went and did that, you know, Osman did this, Abu Huraira did that, Aisha did this. Then what are all, what are all these marriages going on? Why is it that Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala he's getting his sons married to Yazid's aunties, Yazid's cousin sister? Why is it that Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala he's getting his daughter married to Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala to get out of Shia, to get out of this, you know what Shia scholars have written? Astaghfirullah, they said, Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, you know, this is what desperation does. This is what desperation and this is what anger and ghussa and you know, animosity in the, heart, in the heart, this is what it does. They've gone to the extent of saying that no, he didn't give her in marriage because you have to, you have to accept there was a marriage because there was a child, Zaid ibn Umar. There was a child who was screaming out that Umar is my father and Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala who is my grandfather and this woman, Umm Kulshum, this is my mother. How are you going to deny that? So what did they say? They said, no, Hazrat Umar snatched her from Hazrat Ali, raped her and then became... The father. This is how he became the father.